you got to check out the awesome amenities in the world's smallest camper. Today we're taking a look at the Little Guy Max MyPod XT. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of just 840 pounds. It has a gross axle weight rating of 2200 pounds. The length comes in at 11 feet 6 inches and it can sleep up to two people. Now outside, it does come with a roof rack so you can throw your kayak up on top and take off for a great weekend adventure. And it has some great add-on features too, like you can get a five by seven mini screen room tent, or you can get a larger 10 by 10 screen room tent. And you can also purchase an all weather cover so you can keep your MyPod safe and sound all year round. So here I am inside the world's smallest camper, which happens to be what's called a MyPod. And this is a great little camper if you want something that you can tow behind virtually any vehicle. It only weighs in at about 630 pounds. So it's extremely light. You could even tow it behind a car, maybe even a trike, motorcycle, um, definitely any trucks that are out there. Um, but it's fantastic if you just want to get up and off the ground, have a nice fiberglass shell around you uh, when you go camping for weekends or things like that. Uh, it is made out of all fiberglass. It is a one-piece uh, fiberglass mold. But inside, it's got this really nice carpeting all on the inside, so it sort of soundproofs things a little bit for you. You'll also notice that there's a TV up here. And then there's some storage on each side of the TV and the storage area runs all the way behind and to the other side. Got a couple speakers here as well. Below that, it's got a little wall unit air conditioner um, and that runs off of 110 power. Everything else in here runs off a 12 volt battery. Just the AC runs off of 110. There's a little place outside, we'll show you where it plugs in so you can run your AC. Then you've got a little um, stereo system over here plus you have some receptacles and usb ports up top so you can charge your electronics and all that good stuff and then on the other side you have your fuse box uh, in case you need that now the windows in here don't open but they're really a kind of a cool design you just sort of touch the plastic on here and you can drag it across and that blacks out from outside so when you're sleeping here at night you can just close your little window shades. One other nice feature is there is a 12 volt power fan up top. So you can suck air out through this or blow it into your trailer, whichever way you would like to go. And if you don't have any power, all you're running off of is battery power, your power fan will run off of that. And the door that closes also has a screen so you can open your screen on the door, run your power fan and get some nice ventilation through here. Now the size in here, if you're going to lay down in here, you would actually lay down with your head towards the door. But just to give you an idea of how big it is, the length on this is about 72, 73 inches and the width in here is just about 60 inches across. Now, if I was gonna lay down here and sleep, this is what it would look like. Ah, and I just barely make it in here. I'm 5'11", as you guys know, but I do fit. Susan would fit in here just fine, <laughs> no, problem. no problem. So outside of the MyPod, the first thing I noticed is this particular model has what looks to be a polyurea finish which is the same kind of finish that they use on the inside of a pickup truck bed. And if you've seen our video about when we had our roof replaced on our RV, we actually got this style of polyurea finish on the roof. Um, it's very, very durable. I had a pickup truck with this kind of finish in the bed and I threw rocks and bricks and rebar and everything in there and never ever punctured it. So what this does is it adds a very good layer of protection all the way around the whole perimeter of your trailer. So if you're driving down the road and some rocks kick up from your rear tires of your tow vehicle and they hit the front of your MyPod, at least you've got this coating on here which will protect the fiberglass. On top, you'll notice that you have a roof rack up here, so you could throw some kayaks on here, maybe some paddle boards, whatever you'd like to do, and be able to stow them away and take them with you on your weekend getaway. One other thing to note is that it does have a 30 amp plug, so it will work in all of your major campgrounds that you go to. And then in addition to that, there's a little spot right here where you can 
uh, plug in your cable TV. And then finally up front, right on the tongue, this is where the battery would mount and um, that would power all of your 12 volt system inside the MyPod. So not only is this camper super light and can be towed by a lot of different kinds of vehicles, it's only five feet, six inches tall, so it can be stored right inside your garage. Hey, if you wanna check out some more awesome, super light campers, check out our video in the box down below called Six Micro Light Mini Campers Under 2,000 Pounds, and we'll see you guys in the next video. And I just barely make it in here. I'm 5'11", as you guys know, but I do fit. Susan would fit in here just fine, <laughs> no problem. No problem.